Hello everybody, this is Game Taco. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to modify your Starbound items and even create some uh, custom recipes and custom items as well. What we're going to be making, uh, you can see over here, there's these three pictures. I, they're called uh, Laser Pick, that PNG, Laser Pick Big, and Laser Pick Icon. So this is what we're going to be making, uh, Laser Pick. Uh, basically, it's this pick that just kind of breaks everything in one hit, and it's really cool, and it's only one-handed. So that's what we're going to be making. Uh, to start things out, uh, let's go ahead and go to our Starbound directory. Oops. Uh, and if you don't know, that's in your uh, program files, and then Steam, and then Steam Apps, and Common, and Starbound, finally. Now, uh, you see this Mods folder right here? I'm going to go ahead and right-click that, hit Open in New Window. So, um, I'm going to call this mod uh, Quick Pick, I guess. Oops, come on. There's my new folder. So, I'm going to make a new folder called Quick Pick. I'm going to open that up. Now, uh, over in the actual Starbound directory, there's this Assets folder. Now, go ahead and open that up. And these are all the things that you could kind of uh, play with and modify in Starbound. It's all uh, really well organized, and there's this definite hi hierarchy in this folder assets folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, the stone pickaxe as a template for our laser pick and then modify some of the values. Now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to find uh, the stone pickaxe that would be in items and then since the pickaxe is a tool you could go ahead and open up the tools folder and then if you scroll down uh, stone pickaxe is near the bottom there's this file called stone pickaxe.mining tool that's what we want. Let's go ahead and copy that and then um, if you look up top you can see assets uh, and then there's the items folder and, the, and then the tools folder we're gonna go ahead and mimic that uh, kind of hierarchy in our quick pick folder so we need an items folder and we also need a tools folder and then go ahead and open up that tools folder that you just created and copy in this stone pickaxe mining tool now what we're going to do is we're going to change this stone pickaxe part into laser pick. Laser pick mining tool is now our uh, file name. Let's go ahead and open that up in a program such as Notepad++. That's what I'm using just because it's so much easier to use than regular old Notepad. Uh, so we're going to need to change some things in here. Item name. Uh, this is not a stone pickaxe anymore. It is a laser pick. And we're going to be using uh, the laser pick icons. So we're going to go ahead and put laser pick in there. Uh, max stack one. We don't need to stack this at all. Uh, rarity. It is a common tool, I guess. Uh, that's fine with me. Uh, this description. We could change that. This is a pick made out of lasers, and it's awesome. There we go. Uh, short description. Stone pickaxe. More like laser pick. Uh, stone pickaxe big.png. Let's go ahead and replace that. Laser pick big. And lastly, we just need to change the image. Laser pick.png. Uh, so, hand position, that's where uh, that's where the pick will lay on your hand. It's fine where it's at. Fire time is fine. Uh, swing start, swing finish, block radius, all that's fine for now. Uh, two handed, we can go ahead and change that and put that at false. Uh, durability. 7500. Let's go ahead and make that 75,000 just so this thing will probably never break. Uh, down here, tile damage. That's what we really want to uh, modify. It's at 0.8 right now. That takes too long. Let's go ahead and bump that up to 80 or 90. Uh, let's go ahead and put tile damage blunted. So if you're hitting something that's not supposed to be broken by a pickaxe, it'll do 80 damage as well. So basically, this thing is. Uh, <laughs> basically really strong. It's pretty much going to one hit everything. Let's go ahead and close out of that. And now since the file is uh, it, actually before we do anything we need to move these art assets into the tools folder right underneath so now uh, it know, it'll it'll pick up uh, laserpick.png and all these different art files so that's how it will look in game. Now that the item is in the game and uh, it's in the game, but it doesn't have a recipe, so we need to make a recipe. Now, if you go over into your Starbound directory, uh, let's go back into the Assets folder. And if you scroll down, there's a Recipe folder right there. And then if you scroll down into Starter 
and then into the plane folder. What this means is that anything in this folder you could basically make from the very start of the game. All you have to do is just press C in game and then it'll bring up the basic crafting menu with all these recipes. Now this is what we're gonna this is where we're gonna put the um, the laser pick just at, just for simplicity's sake. Let's go ahead and uh, in your quick pick, let's go ahead and duplicate this hierarchy right here. Uh, let's go ahead and make a new folder called recipes and then a new folder called starter and then lastly the plane folder and now what we're going to do is we're just going to use uh, the torch recipe as a template uh, let's go ahead and copy that and then paste it over into our mod uh, plane folder uh, let's uh, rename this into laserpick.recipe edit it with uh, notepad plus plus now this is how the game handles recipes it's really kind of simple uh, as you can see if you have a piece of wood and some coal then it'll output into a torch so we're going to go ahead and change uh, the count for the output to one we're going to change the item output into laser pick because that's what we named um, our uh, our custom pick and then up here we're going to actually change this a little bit we don't need coal to make our laser pick. Get rid of that comma as well. And then we're gonna replace full wood one with torch. Oops, there we go. We're gonna replace full wood one with torch and so all this does is that we can craft our laser pick out of a single torch. Just for simplicity's sake, you could add more here if you wanted to, but we're just gonna use a torch. Go ahead and hit Control S to save that. Uh, we can close all this. And now that the recipe's in the game, uh, there's still two more things that we need to do. Uh, back in your quick pick folder uh, Just set that there and then head back into your assets folder uh, In starbound, so what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, make a player.config file So I'm gonna go ahead and open up notepad plus plus and then uh, We're gonna type out a small file and basically what this will do is it'll combine um it'll let your player uh, craft the item basically so that's what we're gonna do right now I'm gonna go ahead and type this out real fast so this is what the uh, file should look like after uh, you after you typed it all out um, basically what this does is it merges uh, the default blueprints listed here with the default blueprints from the official player config file so what we're going to do is we're going to go to file and then save as and we're going to save it right in uh, the quick pick folder right under underneath the recipes now we're going to go ahead and down here it says save as type make sure you click on uh, all types up here and then we can go ahead and save it as player.config it needs to be a .config file and not a text file or else this won't work so go ahead and hit save Gonna go ahead and replace what I already had there and now we actually need to make one more file and this is basically just a logistics file so uh, it, it, it's really just uh, keeping track of the name uh, the version the author the description of the mod things like that so I'm going, I'm going to go ahead and type that out real fast so this is what the file will look like after you're done typing it as you can see as I said before it's just uh, some logistical things so you can change the name of uh, how the mod is referenced in any of the files. Uh, you can change uh, the display name, uh, the author, you know, the description. You can change that to whatever you want. Uh, it doesn't much matter. But make sure you save it in the right location. So go to File, Save As, and what we want this to be called is QuickPick.ModInfo, as you can see down here. Uh, make sure you uh, click on Save As Type, and then All Types, yes, yet again because it needs to be a .info, .mod info file. If it's a text file, it will not work. So make sure you save that in the quick pick folder, which is your mods base folder. Let's go ahead and uh, save that. We can close that of Notepad++. We can close out of these folders. And finally, we're ready to launch Starbound. And if all goes well, we should be able to create this laser pick and uh, play with it a little bit. And I did make a character just for this. So, we should be good to go. Okay, there's my my glitch. And once we get into my ship, 
I'll, here we go. All I, all I have to do is just press C, and as you can see, the laser pick is right there. Um, and the recipe is one torch, and laser pick, it's a tool, one-handed. This is the pick, and it's made out of lasers, and it's awesome. Let's go ahead and craft this sucker. As you can see, it took one, away one of my torches. I have the laser pick in my hands now. Um, there we go, yeah. And just to show that it's one-handed, I can grab my flashlight. Uh, let's put that in my left hand. My right hand. There we go, look at this. I finally have a source of light while mining. Let's go ahead and jump down here. Break some stuff. As you can see, it breaks everything instantaneously. Look at all this stuff. Uh, there is... I don't want to get too close to those monsters, but uh, it'll break any tree in one hit. As you see, it just broke that tree. Oh man. What is all this stuff happening? Alright, I might have to evacuate. There's too many monsters down here. So, oops. That is uh, how to create your own items and your custom recipes and things like that in Starbound. There's It's a lot more in-depth than what I've covered. Uh, this is just kind of the basic um, how to make some quick little easy mods and things like that. So if you enjoyed this, I will make more if uh, there is a demand for it. Uh, if there is, please, if you'd enjoyed this, if you learned something, please comment, like, subscribe, you know. it all It's all really inspiring to me and it really helps a lot. Um, anyway, uh, that's everything. My name is Game Taco, and I will uh, see you guys later.